everybody, I'm Ed and welcome to the Cell GP Inspire Learning Programme. This is an instructional video to learn how to make a Lego sail car for challenge two. So, first things first, you're going to need some Lego. Then you're going to need to go online to find the instructions of how to make your own Lego sail car. Now the thing is about this, you don't have to make the same sail car that I make, but it might be a useful starting point for you to come up with your own design. Here we go. It spins. Oh yeah, it's got to spin freely. And there you have it. There is one very obvious thing missing at the moment, and that is the sail. So to make the sail, all you'll need is a piece of paper. Nice. I can also attach my piece of paper that's going to be my sail to my boom and to my mast really easily because I can use these little connector pieces to fit through a hole that a hole punch makes. And if I just do the first couple to begin with, making sure that I get it in the right place, then that gives me a starting point to work out where the rest are. I can position it so that I get all the rest in the right position. One sail attached. And it's really useful when you create your sail to have a little bit of a curve in its shape. And now it's time for testing. Level one, the wind source behind the sail. That's called a dead run. Level two, the wind source now coming across your sail car. This is called a beam reach. And now level three, what we call close hauled. The wind source diagonally in front of your sail car. To make your life easier, you could of course use a fan or a hairdryer, but make sure you always ask permission from the person you're borrowing it from before you use it. Can you use my hairdryer? So whether it's the sail car or the mini dinghy, make sure you share your experiences with us using the hashtag SailGP or SailGP Inspire. Good luck.